All right, so uh, about to do one of my unboxing videos. Um, so the one we're going to be unboxing today is a game I've actually had since December. It's called uh, Zombie 15. Kind of a unique game, I think, because it runs uh, off of like a real-time timer of sorts. Uh, where you actually have a literal 15 minutes while you're playing the game to, I guess, get through the scenario or get through the, uh, the, uh, setup or the, 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 the mission or the quest. So I actually don't know too much about it. Um, I've, I've never really looked into it before. I got it, uh, I got it for Christmas and, uh, as you can see, I haven't even taken the shrink wrap off of it. So, there has been one reason it's kind of stopped me from playing. Our, you know, our the group I play with, we have a very limited amount of time, and this is just uh, just hasn't hit our our radar yet. But um, another reason why is that you know it does take more than one player. It isn't a solo game, so it's it's kind of hard to fit fit those in when we gotta other ones uh, that we've already got on our plate so um, I thought since I uh, I did find an addition to this game which I'll go through at the end of the video um, that, that this was probably an appropriate time to go ahead and do an unboxing of this one so I did get a little bit of feedback on some of my other videos that I wasn't spending enough time with looking through the components so I want to try to address those concerns for my uh, fans out there. Uh, you guys have been great. A lot of feedback, a lot of uh, support, um, a lot of requests for more videos like this. So uh, hopefully I can get this one right and start doing them a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, here's the back of the box. Kind of shows our stuff. But uh, instead of seeing pictures, why don't we just go ahead and get right into it. See, I've never opened this game before, so this will be the first time getting into it. It's a nice big box. It's kind of neat. So we have our campaign booklet. So this will actually list out our scenarios for each thing, and I really like that. I, I prefer games, honestly, that have a scenario or maybe even a story to them. For me, it just kind of keeps it, keeps that replayability uh, real high on my list. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm advancing through and, you know, making progress on it. So I, I definitely prefer the games with a scenario, uh, especially where they kind of set things up for you and I don't have a very creative <laughs> mind to, to, you know, to do those things on my own. So I definitely like it when somebody put that time into it. Uh, so the the uh, the campaign booklet's real nice. Um, glossy sheets, you know, they're real thick, real sturdy. So I probably could stand up to a little bit of abuse. Um, let's see, I think you'll see some of that the way they're laid out. So it looks kind of good. And it gives you everything you need to know, so I won't give away what's actually in the campaign, but the uh, booklet itself is quite nice. Okay, next we have our survival guide. I guess this is this is our rules. This is everything we're gonna find as far as um, components and what they are and how they're laid out. Um, Maybe more of a reference sheet, I'm thinking. Okay, I get how to play. Um, so it talks about, yeah, this is just your overall rules and how the game's laid out. Just again, it's a nice uh, gloss book. Nice laid out. I love the, you know, the examples and they show them the pictures of the cards and everything. I think y'all can see that. It's real nice. 
a nice little guide. And now we have our tiles. So they are very cool tiles. Some tokens around the side here. Maybe like a search tokens, heart tokens. It's like key locks. These are pictures of like a neighborhood maybe. Kind of a bird's eye view of the house. So not really too, I mean, I guess if you, I don't know if you go into a house, the, there's these little yellow lines around here for searching. Maybe it's just once you're in that area, you can search. Maybe it's the whole entire house. I'm not 100% not sure on that. Um, definitely gets, uh, I like the little artwork. You got some little dead people in there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, uh, you got some, like, people floating in the pool. <laughs> like that little attention to detail. It's pretty good. Alright, so, some more tiles. And they're all square. All the tiles are going to be square here. I don't see any difference. Not like, uh, like in Descent or, um... Shadows of brimstone or anything like that where you know a tile could be a different shape. These are all kind of a square tile I guess I can kind of pop one of these out and kind of show you real thick Cardboard and double-sided so definitely be for setting up some different scenarios It's got some exit tokens here some vehicle tokens a helicopter token. It's kind of cool circular thing I guess maybe you could set up some cool little uh, cul-de-sacs or neighborhoods it's definitely all the tiles look like they're taking place in a neighborhood I haven't seen anything outside of that like a, like a city maybe I don't really I'm not seeing anything like that so I guess this is all kind of taking place close to home football field parking lot so yeah it looks like a very urban or suburban, I'm sorry, a suburban area. It's kind of what the theme is. I just have a couple of buildings, like an industrial or a hospital. Kind of reminds me of the places you'd find on that, the Twilight Creations game, the uh, zombies with the square tiles and how it was laid out. It's just kind of the same, the roads going in and out. Kind of reminds me of that. Alright, so looks like we have some character cards here. And I'm trying to see if it's different on either side. They kind of do look a little different. I'm not sure what what it means here. These have things as far as your hero actions. So I'm not I'm not I'm not sure what the two different sides means or if I'm just missing why they're like that. So we do have, let's say, our two character sheets, three, four, five, six, Josh, that's funny, that's me, seven, eight, so we got eight characters here, I guess, to start with, one, two, three, four, six, seven, yeah, we got eight characters, all right. A CD. Now, I believe, from what I understand, this CD is supposed to be played while you're playing the game, and this is kind of your timer uh, to keep you on track for the 15 minutes that you have to play. Um, so that's kind of neat. Hopefully, it doesn't get messed up. To <laughs> won't be able to play it, or maybe they have a way you can download it off the uh, off their site. That's what I understand anyway. So this is supposed to keep your timer going uh, to keep you on track. Um, uh, I, I guess like a storage box maybe? A place to put tokens? I'm not sure on this. It says hoard on it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> maybe just a this, you can see there's deep pockets in here. That's where stuff would go, so I think that's kind of nice. Lots of zombies. I'm assuming all of these are going to be the same. It's like some female zombie characters. So you see that?
quite a few of them in here. These all look about the same model, female zombies. Looks like these are going to be our male zombies. If you can't tell, I like zombie games. I know I've already done one of my other unboxing games was a zombie game. I'm kind of a fan of this, the zombie realm. And I have a, a good friend who keeps asking me why. Why zombies? I, I don't know. I just like... I like that... I don't know. <laughs> I can't really explain it. Um, it's, it's just one of the things I like. Uh, I don't know. These are... I, I can't even tell. These are like big fat dudes. Maybe these are probably some higher power zombies. Take a little while to get rid of. Kind of reminds me of the zombicide um, zombies. The ones that are, they, they, I guess they're harder to hit. The abominations is what it is. Um, here we have some of our heroes. Different colors. And this, this huge guy, look at this guy. That's insane. Huh. I don't know what he is. Then we have our eight tokens here are eight characters you can see that all different colors I guess it corresponds to with how their sheet is laid out character sheet and cards I also did another unboxing video where uh, I, <laughs> I did a Lord of the Rings game and I uh, took out cards and all I did was flip to them I didn't I didn't uh, spend enough time on them apparently, and I caught some flack for that. I'm I'm thinking it was just a troll out there on the internet, you know, just coming and commenting on my videos and giving me bad feedback. But you know what? I'll, I'll I can I can take some constructive criticism. That's fine. I don't mind it. So looks like we have some weapons here. Banjo, shovel, crowbar, whatever a tonfa is. Oh, it's like a police stick with some gloves, shotgun, guitar, cavalry saber, machete, baseball bat, customized chain, bow, small machete, revolver, revolver, nail gun, defibrillator, hockey stick. Gas can, a few of those, machine gun ammo, machine gun, trash can lid, improvised shield, dynamite, fireworks, grenade, drink, so on and so on. I can't, I mean, I can't go through all these here, but I think you guys get the point. Clever little weapons and items. Hopefully that, uh, um, kind of running low on battery here. I better get through this. Alright, so these are just probably more of the cards. More of the same. Let me look and see what uh, what's in these. And these are more of your items here. Some ones, twos, not sure what those are for. And then I have A's, B's, C, two. I'm assuming these are going to go into like the scenario, maybe draw on a certain amount of zombies. That's pretty much it for the contents of the box. Now, the reason why it took me a little while to get this is because I ran across uh, something else the other day uh, while I was um, getting some other stuff from a online site, and uh, I just happened to do a search for this game thinking, oh, maybe they have an expansion or something cool that came out that I just can't live without. And that's when I came across this. It was only $3. But look at it. This is for the Zombie uh, 15 game. Look at the bottom there. Solo Campaign. So this takes a two-player game and makes it a one-player game. So I could literally just sit down on my own and play a game. So I was like, well, heck yeah, for $3, I can't pass up that heck of a deal. So I picked this up. I said it's going to be time to get into the game. So I'm sure that they have the rules in here on how to play it. You know, 
just with the single player how to do that so I was sold like yeah that's what I need right there and if it says uh, this campaign is exclusively designed to be played alone offers a high level challenge to zombie 15 aficionados that will make them break habits and rethink strategy for an original intense gaming experience now that's just cool right there so now I have that to go along with my game and hopefully soon I can uh, post a video of actually getting to play this wonderful looking game I do see some similarities a little bit between some of the other zombie games uh, probably more uh, maybe some similarities to Zombicide just in how the the character sheets are laid out and the color of the the heroes kind of has a little bit of a rain to that now things are a little more I guess they look kind of cartoony a little bit but we'll kind of see how that plays out but that's uh that's my zombie 15 unboxing video hope you enjoyed it uh, hope these are getting better more entertaining that way you can actually sit for 16 minutes and not be bored to death from what I think is entertaining but uh, I don't know let me know if it was okay you can put a comment let me know if it wasn't good you can leave a comment too and let me know how to do it better next time alright guys thanks for watching